Hi chaps, exclamation point. I have a question for you I've been wondering about. Resolution typically affects frame rate, lower the resolution to get a higher frame rate. Um, a lot of games struggle because they're trying to push 4K on the new consoles, but what happens if you forcibly set the console to go lower resolution like you do on a PC? So in other words, if I set the output of my Series X to 1080p or 1440p instead of 4K, do you actually see an improvement in frame rate? I personally think most of the games are totally access uh, acceptable, but I'm just curious as to how that would affect the output. Would it upscale to 4K even though it's rendering at 1080? Uh, would your TV try to upscale and would there be any frame rate difference? Keep up the great work. And I miss you guys saying, come on, lads. Lol. Cheers. Um, this is a really common question. We get asked it a lot and the answer is pretty straightforward. It, nine times out of 10, probably 99 times out of 100. Um, it doesn't really matter what resolution you set your consoles to. It's the final, basically the games are operating to whatever resolutions they're programmed to run at. It goes into the display controller on the console. And then what comes out is basically what you've defined at the front end. It can be 4K, it can be 1440p, it can be 1080p. As I said, 99 times out of 100, it will simply scale the uh, internals, the internal resolution to um, uh, you know whatever it wants to be. And then it will go to your display controller, which will go to like 1080p or 4K or whatever. So it won't make any difference to performance. But there have been a couple of examples on the PlayStation side, I think, where, you know, if you do set it to 1080p, there could be some changes made. That happens certainly on the PS5, uh, PS4 Pro, uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 is the classic example there. Mm -hmm. You've got two separate modes, depending on whether you're at 1080p yep. or 4K. I think there might be one or two games on the PlayStation 5 that do it, but their names escape me at the moment. But ultimately, if you want that kind of control over resolution to improve frame rate, you kind of have to go to PC, really. I don't know if it's... Or anything. the PS3. <laughs> the, the PS3. <laughs> Has a ton of games like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not particularly relevant to the latest AAA fare, but I get your point, yeah. Just saying, you know, the triple's always relevant. And there was, there was some actually some 360 games that did the same thing as well. That's true, a few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have some potentially, well, interesting news, possibly bad news for us which has been reported to me, which is that that welcome tour demo you were discussing, John, the one that like mm. you take a 720p image to 4K, yeah. that actually apparently depends on your display output resolution. So if you load up that demo with your output set to 1080p, it'll be upscaling 360p to 1080p. If you're at 720p, it'll be upscaling 240p to 720p. So that's an instance where the software has some awareness of what display Whoa. the display is running at. And, uh, and it is actually modifying the internal resolution in quite an obvious way, in a way that's even communicated to the end user. So that's something we might need to look out for on Switch 2, because at least Welcome Tour yeah. does change its uh, configuration depending on what resolution of display you have connected to it. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy stuff. I think ultimately, though, we're probably going to be capturing at 4K. And yeah, well, I guess we just have to wait and see what happens there. Thank you